was weird. This is it. Security. I can check the departures register to find out which crew chick, I mean, the scholar, shipped in and out with. He's looking for a friend. Ooh. Yum. I, 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 I can't do this. I don't have the thing. I need, like, the chip thing. Hi there. Haven't seen you around before. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? <laughs> we can't just let anyone walk in here. I wouldn't be, uh, well, it's not, uh, we just don't. You did help fix the radiators. I know Commandant Sunita's grateful for that. Maybe if you cleared an open bounty, that'd be enough for a thank you tour. Oh, shit. All right. No, I'm interested in this bounty. That's, like, more fucking XP. Yeah, I'm in. Unless you're here to file an incident report or to inquire about the bounty posting, I must kindly ask you to clear out. The Mardet's offices aren't for leisure time nor loitering. Bro, man. Got a hot one for you. Captain Gunner McRed. Just 26 hours old. Uh, the posting, that is. Not the criminal. Uh, allegations <laughs> include several counts of flying under the influence, carrying open alcoholic containers, failure to pay docking fees, resisting arrest, and assaulting not one, but two officers. Well, if being a fucking insane person is fucking... Kicked one right in the kneecap while he poked the other in the eyes. <laughs> McRed's lucky we're too backlogged right now to hunt him down ourselves. That's a Three Stooges cartoon. But if our resources clear up and we catch him before some contractor does, I fully plan to lock him in ISO with them two officers he wounded, thinking he won't like that one bit. Mm, a cab. Swerving in the air was more like it. Then he crashed hard into the dock and tumbled out of his ship and fled on foot. <laughs> Spilled Rizzo's Violet Spectrum vodka all over Officer Hartley. An affront of its own, considering none of us are approved for anything higher than Green Spectrum. Last tip we got pointed toward the back bays. You want the reward? Do the legwork. You and about six other Enterprise wait a minute. Mavericks. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before someone brings me McRed's head, or his lucky lighter, as proof of kill. I do hope you're the lucky hunter, though. Good luck and skip speed to you. In the back bay, cold McRed. That's that motherfucker I talked to, isn't it? <laughs> I know who this guy is. I can murder the shit on right now. At least I believe that's what I'm doing. CNT Bork Pocket. Scheduled macro rage in two and a half seconds. Bork Pocket. Memory Oh, yeah. So he was wrong in the head when he got here. Neighbor from above. What brings you to my little moonlight kingdom? I need your lighter. Wow, just right to it, huh? Listen to the fire of those convictions. This one's hungry for justice. Alive or dead. Rare or medium. What's it gonna be? How do you want me cooked, bounty hunter? Huh. My flame? Shit. Little flick here got me started on the pyro path. Fine. He's yours. Give him a good home. Don't worry, Mr. McRed. We'll treat Mr. Flick extra nice Shit. on the count of he's your Give friend. Me it. You call your lighter Little Flick? I'll miss my baby pyro, but it beats losing my head. This court needs its king, and I'm one of a kind.
Keen eyes you got there. Sunita gave me this lighter. We had a carnal understanding a few years back, and she wanted me to have something to remember her by. What the fuck? Level 10. I'm learning a lot more about this motherfucker than I ever wanted to learn. <laughs> ah. The bear's getting scraggly. It's itching. Perk points with my fabulous armor. Persuade's pretty high. Just for the long haul. Yeah. How do I undo? That's falling behind. That is pathetically low. Let's just fucking dump all the points there. C and V now. Perk. Snake oil salesman. I want that first. I'll worry about the others later. Oh, shit. Fuck it. She can give me mods? So I got a slight chance of getting mods. What do you got? Oh, don't want to do that. Hack skill and maxes in my party. There we go. You still betting on the toss ball series? Why it's a bitch and a half going for the jack of all trades builds when I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Much easier in Fallout. I know what to expect in all those games. Do you know what's happening on Terra One? Is this person the sand? DeSantis, Sanita, I got his lighter. How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided, if you ain't killed McRed yet, I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. Uh -huh. Did he tell you that, did he? I might have kicked his ass from one end of the groundbreaker to the other a few years back. Whatever he reads into that is his business. <laughs> Why well, one? Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. Give me that With shit. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. Oh, yeah, give me that XP. Oh, that XP. Oh, that XP. Right, let's do this. What can Groundbreaker Security do for you today? Chief Tennyson don't generally hire outsiders for station jobs, but you could try ah. asking at Sublight South. Any can I get back here now? Can I, I can't get back here now. What? What the? F How? How? How come she's allowed to go through it? I'm not. I need to get to the security thing. I think it's back there still. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's, it's, it's right there. About that what tour. What groundbreaker security do? Uh... Yeah, I'm getting that, but this area is off limits. I told you. You have done a lot for us, Captain. I'll talk to the Commandant about scheduling a thank you tour for you. What? What? All right. I'm about to bribe this motherfucker. <laughs> I'll be back. I'm marking the date. I'll be back.
<laughs> you have not seen the last of me in my nice armor. <laughs> Motherfuckers. I made myself dizzy doing that. The back and forth of it. Salvage in the sky. It's been a couple days. I don't remember if I settled this yet or what I'm doing. This is Halcyon Noon. What? How do you do? Huh. Have you returned with the sum? Oh. Oh, yeah, I gotta pay this guy. I forgot. I'm not doing that yet. I don't have the money. I spent it on armor. I have the money. I pro probably, right? 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 Where's my bits? I don't know where my bits are. I have 10,000 bits and 69 armor. Nice. But this station bores me. So, the companions. Annoying the shit out of me with that. Uh, let's talk to these guys. These guys got the the jobs, the the jobs, the jobs, the jobs. No touching. Interesting to say the least. What the fuck? We look so fucking boss in this armor. I told you guys it would be great. Hello, peasant. Ah, oh, really? Hello, peasant. I need to talk to you. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. It's not legitimate at all. Anyone flying the unreliable? Uh huh. Sure you are. <laughs> Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. <laughs> uh, sure. I am totally that guy that does the thing. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. I'm guessing you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. Why'd you have jobs? That's what I care about. You know what? I'm gonna confuse the fuck out of that secretary. Charmed. I doubt it. It's nice to see the unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. They know I'm lying. Is Ada still at the helm? I don't know how many times I told Hawthorne to restore that smartass to factory settings. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings. But there's a catch. There's always a but. There is always a catch. If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? I like that initiative, but ease back on the throttle. <laughs> Gladys at the rest and go might have what you need. If there's anything else, be quick about it. Time is bits. I like the idea, like, I don't know how to get there, but I'll do it. Be seeing you. Make sure you aren't followed on your way out. So this company is not legitimate in any way, shape, or form. It is totally a fucking mob operation of some kind. There are bodies buried in the floorboards. I'm not winded. Honest. My, uh, boot was Would hate for you to get left behind, or architect forbid, become lost. See, that's why you provide companions with a roll of twine. So they can leave it everywhere and you can find a way back pretty easily. 
Especially in the fancier part of town. I need to go to Terra 2. I don't know why it took me so long to read that. So I'm guessing I'm off to Terra 2. I can leave now, right? As long as that guy doesn't try and fuck me. He might try and fuck me. But I'm not too worried about this Terra 2 place. Only one, a legit hall. Smashed up oh. a out in the Caribbean belt. Hey, you got a second? No, you're not shifty at all. Totally look legit. Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Don't touch it, peasant. Can I hand it to you, boss. That's a fine looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. Huh. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Oh, no. I got a pretty good engineer. Temper me if you're going to have to go by all the wrong way. You're serious. You're giving me a shot. All right. Uh, hang on. Dance hang on. for me. I put together a little speech, just <laughs> in case you ask. He's got a speech. Hey there. I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a second draft. Firstly, I am highly personable, and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> Sorry. He's funny. Uh, secondly... I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. I like where this is going, so I'm going to let it go. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion, thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. I thought that was real good, Felix. Thanks for the vote of confidence. What do you think? Am I in? He is fucking in. <laughs> Just for the simple fact, he is good for dra dra dragging off bodies and holding doors in case I need to run like a little bitch. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. I need a meat shield. You're not going to regret this. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is going to be great. You got a crew now, Felix. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, this guy's a fucking dork. Now watch, he's going to be very handy or he's going to be fucking betraying me before the end of the day. Oh, I did not expect you back so soon, Captain. Why is this locked? It's my ship. I'm going to hear the lip out of you, fucking AI. Fucking plotting against me already, I can tell. I'm becoming very paranoid about this place. Make yourself at home, Captain. I will fucking... Don't fucking watch me. I like how we just left. Like we didn't even we didn't even leave docked. All right, we jumped in and we just backed off, and now we're just pointing at it, watching. This ship looks very familiar. Where have I seen this layout before? Like I want to say that looks kind of Romulan or Klingon right there, that bit, and then like this just looks like a a stereotypical fucking rocket, and then like the boosters, it looks like a Donager, like. If this thing was massive, even bigger, it looks like a Donager. Let's be honest. A less advanced version 
but definitely like kind of Klingon ass Donager looking motherfucker. So apparently Felix comes with a grenade launcher. Holy shit. Good to know. Uh, where's he hiding? How many companions am I gonna have? Where's this motherfucker? There he is. Good to see you, boss. Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you pick me up, I was living in the back bays. I spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. That's what they called us. Orphans with no family, no company to take us in. Nowhere to go but the back bays. The words a touch kindlier than rung leech, but the meaning's just as clear. If you can't support your own self, you don't deserve to be on the groundbreaker. Same way we all do. Look for work and hope somebody would give me a shot. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. Foreman and I never got on. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint. But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick, that felt good. That felt real good. You ought to try it. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in theory. But I wouldn't have felt half as good. I could have cracked the dick. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. Yeah, I guess my ship did arrive in the end. I've got you to thank for that. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. <laughs> I picked him up because he's a smart ass and I need a meat shield. Nothing more. I've got so many med packs. I'm looking up at them. I got 32 of them. <laughs>